Cameron hails all party support against John Kirby. David Cameron says there is a political consensus in Westminster against Jean-Claude Juncker becoming president of the European Commission. The Prime Minister was speaking after Labour said it opposed the former Luxembourg leader getting the job. The UK opposition said Mr Juncker's record suggested he would make getting much-needed reforms more difficult. Mr Cameron hailed the support of all major UK parties, as he held talks on the issue with other EU leaders. Mr Cameron is meeting German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Swedish Prime Minister Frederick Rienfeldt and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte for wide-ranging talks on the EU's future at Mr Rienfeldt's summer residence near Stockholm. The person chosen to head the commission, the EU's executive body, will be one of the most contentious issues discussed during the two-day gathering. United Mrs Merkel has publicly backed Mr Juncker, the candidate nominated by party groups in Europe, but the UK, Sweden and the Netherlands are leading a campaign to block his candidacy. Mr Cameron is strongly opposed to Mr Juncker's belief in a closer political union between EU member states, and has described Brussels as too big and too bossy. His hand was strengthened on Monday, when Labour said its MEPs in the European Parliament, which must approve the choice by EU leaders, would vote against Mr Juncker. The message from the European elections was clear, that we need reform in Europe, a spokesman said. We need reform so we can promote jobs and growth. Mr Juncker's record shows he would make these reforms more difficult. Mr Cameron said the UK, Germany, Sweden and the Netherlands were all strong, growing economies after Labour's intervention, Mr Cameron tweeted, all major UK parties are now united on one point, Jean-Claude Juncker should not be president of the European Commission. Speaking in Sweden, Mr Cameron said the issue, of who ran the commission could not be separated from the need for Europe, to shift its strategic focus. We want to see an EU which is more open, competitive and flexible one, that does less pointless interference but one, that is effective in helping to get growth and jobs, he said. Obviously there is a link to that agenda and the people, who should be running these institutions but this meeting today is really about content, and what Europe should be doing in the next few years. Mr Cameron also made clear he believed it should be up to the elected leaders of the EU's 28 member states, to decide who headed the commission rather than some new process that had yet to be agreed.